बहिरंतश्च भूतानाम अचरं चरमेव सुखत्या तत् अभिज्ञेयम दूरस्थं चांतिके चतत् द सुप्रीम थ्रो एब्सुलूट थ्रो और द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड इट वी शुड ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर द सुप्रीम थ्रो इन द अल्टीमेट इशू इज द पर्सन ब्रह्मेति परमात्मेति भगवान इति शब्द Without understanding this tattva, we cannot understand the absolute truth. The first realization is impersonal Brahma. Then, still further advanced realization is localized Paramatma, and still further advanced realization is the supreme personality of God. ब्रह्मेति परमात्मेति भगवानीति शब्द वदंति तत्तविदस्तम जज ज्ञानमध्य ब्रह्मेति परमात्मेति भगवानीति शब्द द एब्सुलूट ट्रू द सेम ऑब्जेक्टिव टू द लेस इंटेलिजेंट क्लास ऑफ मैन और इन द बिगिनर्स ही एपियर्स टू बी इम्पर्सनल ब्रह्म इम्पर्सनल ब्रह्म just like the same example as we are very very far away 90 million miles away from the sun planet we can touch the sun sign not the sun planet that is not possible uh, we have no such power that we can touch the although the sun planet is there everyone can go and touch it but it is beyond our power This is the position of our material experience, and what to speak of spiritual experience. Uh, about the spiritual experience, it is stated in the Brahma Sangita, "Panthastu koti shatavasa sampragamya, bayu rathapi manasu mani punga mana, so pasti jab pravadasim na abhichinta tatte govinda madhi purusham tamaham bhaya." There is a planet. Just like you see the sun planet, it is in your front. You are you are daily seeing it, but you have no power to go there. This is about the material planet, and how you can approach the spiritual planet where Krishna lives. Goloka Mandar, Goloka Eva Nivasati. Everything is there, but you require power to reach. So uh, uh, the, we can realize in the beginning the sun sign. Then, if we are able to approach the sun planet, uh, that also not possible, but still we can hope. But still, you have to enter the sun planet, and there is sun god. From the sun god, the glaring. Uh, if all ends, the sun sign is coming. Although the sun sign and the sun glow, and the within the sun glow of the sun god, they are of the same thing, quality, light and heat. Still, there are degrees of light and heat. You can touch the sun sign, but you cannot touch the sun glow. Neither you can enter the sun glow. That requires a different power. <coughs> so. This is material, and now this sun shining and this sun glow is also stated in the Brahma Sangita uh, that jatrakshure so sabita sakalagrahana raja samastha suramurti asesu tija jasyagaya brahmati sang vritakala chakro govinda madhi purisam tamang maya. Now this sun glow, uh, it is very powerful planet within this universe. Therefore, it is called the king of all planets. Jatrakshu Deshu Sabita. Sabita means the sun planet. 
सकल ग्रहणा राजा समस्त सुरमूर्ति अशेष तेज अनलिमिटेड पावर अशेष तेज बट स्टिल दिस सन प्लैनेट इज ऑल्सो मूविंग इन इट्स ऑर्बिट दिस सन प्लैनेट हैज गॉट इट्स ऑर्बिट ऑल प्लैनेट्स दे हैव गॉट देयर ऑर्बिट जो शाग्या भ्रमति संग भृत काल चक्र काल चक्र इट इज मूविंग लाइक सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड माइल्स पर सेकेंड द स्पीड ऑफ सन प्लैनेट एवरीथिंग इज डिस्क्राइब इन द श्रीमद भागवत so is still such a big planet powerful planet it is rotating under someone's order that is govinda jashagmaya bhramati sangmrita kala chakra govinda maadi purusham samam there must be someone directing don't think it is automatically moving there is direction that is stated in the bhagavad gita maya dakshena prakriti suvate sa characharam हेतुना जगद भी परिवर्तते सो वी आर नॉट सो इंटेलिजेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट द मेटीरियल नेचर इज वर्किंग मूविंग अंडर द डिरेक्शन ऑफ द सुप्रीम पर्सनल बट वी कैन एक्सपीरियंस इट जस्ट लाइक ए मशीन कंप्यूटर वेरी सटन मशीन इट इज वर्किंग वंडरफुली but there is a person who is pushing the ball without that the machine is useless it is lamp of matter <laughs> similarly this gigantic universe cosmic manifestation and nature is working very wonderfully the sun is moving moon is moving and the earth is moving everything in the right direction and minute time and not a single inch is moving here or there uh, everything is going on nicely how uh, that is explained in the bhagavad gita maya dakshina prakriti suyate sa characharam hitunani na kaunte jagat bhi parivart it is under the direction of the supreme personality of god so gyam krishna is explaining the subject matter of knowledge uh, first of all krishna has explained the process of knowledge amanittam madam vittam khanti arjavo mai chananna jogena bhakti jog abhya vicharini janma mein tu jara badi dukh dusha nu darshanam these are the process of knowledge to know if we remain before ignorant Uh, that we are missing the chance everything we can know this human form of body especially meant for that purpose you can understand what you are what is this material nature what is god and how we are related how things are going on everything is there but we are so foolish that we do not take care we live like cats and dogs eat something and sleep and have sexual intercourse and then we are afraid always and then die this is cats and dogs life uh, real life is to know athat brahma jignasa that is real life human life one must be inquisitive to understand the absolute brahma jignasa uh, not inquiring in the market what is the rate of share what is the rate of rise uh, no not for this inquiry jignasu sre uttamam to inquire about the absolute truth uttamam beyond this material nature udgata tamam this material nature is called tamam tamasi ma jyotir gamam these are the vedic injunctions you have to enter you have to understand the world of light this world is the world of darkness Uh, it is simply we require there for sunlight moonlight electric light either way it is dark uh, it is called tama uh, but there is another world which is full of light uh, <coughs> it is so full of light that it do not require the sunlight moonlight or electric light there na chatra bhasate surya na sasank na pavaka जद गत्यान निवर्तन से तद्धाम परम 
the spiritual world. There is parastas matu bhava anya bhaktya bhaktya sanatana. Everything is there, but we do not take care. Uh, we think that we have understood uh, three vigas of land, my neighborhood, or this, my India, or my America, or this planet. That is sufficient knowledge. No, that is not sufficient knowledge. You have to know so many things. But if you understand Krishna, to understand Krishna means to understand everything. Just mean vijñāti, sarva-medham vijñātam bhavanti. If you try to, this Krishna consciousness movement is that try to understand Krishna as Krishna is speaking in the Bhagavad-gītā. Don't malinterpret. Don't be foolish that Krishna means this, Purukhyata means that, manufacture some word or words and you be also foolish and make others foolish. No. Try to understand Bhagavad Gita as it is. Then you'll understand everything. Now here Krishna says, Bohi Rantasya Bhutana. The absolute truth is there. Bohi Antast. Not that it is in a different position or different angle of vision. You are already in the absolute truth. Even materially conception, bhumi, rapa, nalo, bhāyo, khaṅga, buddhi, mana, these are the material elements, five gross elements and three subtle elements. So even taken materially, uh, what is this material? We have already explained. The materials are different energies of the Supreme Law. Vinnāme prakriti astadhā, Krishna says, these eight kinds of material nature, subtle and gross, they are my energy, inferior energy. Itastu vidyame prakriti pārā. So the mind is within, the intelligence is within, the soul is within and outside your body. Uh, so this body made of five elements, they are also Krishna's energy. And within the mind, intelligence, and the soul, that is also Krishna's energy. Two kinds of energies, supreme, yeah, inferior and superior. Therefore, he is uh, outside and inside. Uh, both. Bahi Rantasya Bhutana. Uh, every living entity, Krishna is existing outside and in, inside. Therefore we have to purify both outside and inside. Uh, that is our human life. Human life means to become purified. Because we are not purified, therefore we have to accept birth, death, old age and disease. This is the problem. Uh, uh, <coughs> because we are not purified, that is stated in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Uh, Tapo Dibbhaga Putra Kajina Suddhita Satta. Vishabdev advised his sons, my dear sons, Tapo Dibbhaga, just undergo austerities. Uh, this life, human life, is for austerities, penance. Therefore, you'll find in the Vedic civilization big, big saintly persons, big, big brahmins, chhatriyas, rajasis, they are engaged. Uh, just like Lord Buddha. Lord Buddha was the uh, prince, uh, royal family, but he still he left everything and another way, medi- uh, meditation to understand himself. There are many of them, Bharat Maharaj, under whose name this country is called Bharat Varsha, at the twenty-four hour, uh, twenty-fourth years of his age, he left his kingdom, his wife, little children, and went for austerity, penance. Uh, this is meant for, this life is meant for not to live extravagantly uh, without any responsibility like cats and dogs. We should be very responsible, uh, austerity, little austerity. In the Kali you cannot undergo severe austerity. Uh, but even if you follow little austerity, little something must be done. Little austerity, just like you, do not commit any sinful life. What is that? No illicit sex, uh, no meat-eating, no intoxication, no gambling. This much austerity. If you simply accept this four principles, now these Europeans and Americans, they are accepting. 
uh, you see how they are advancing. Uh, he, he, you cannot understand the supreme pure, absolute truth, re- keeping yourself impure. It is not possible. Uh, uh, you can understand God when you are pure. Jisam anto gotongo papam. It is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. You can understand God if you are sinful. Namang duskitana mura prapadanti naradama. Those who are not purified, sinful, acting, sinful, acting only sinfully, such person is called duskritina. Kritina, kriti means meritorious. But these rascals are meritorious in doing all sinful activities. Sinful activities also require merit. Uh, even if you become a very expert thief, this is stealing a sinful activity. Uh, but it's, it requires some brain. Uh, it requires some brain. Therefore, uh, the word is used kritino. Kritino means meritorious. But those kritino, their merit is being applied for sinful activity. Similarly, there is another word sukritino. You can employ your merit for pious activities. The merit is the same. Uh, <coughs> just like money. Uh, money you can utilize for duskritino and for sukritino. You can utilize your money for drinking, uh, wine, uh, illicit sex, meat eating and gambling. And you can utilize your money for Krishna's service, for offering jaggas, for constructing temple, uh, sacrifices, push on the Sankirtan movement, Krishna consciousness movement. So money is not good or bad. As you utilize it, similarly merit, merit also, uh, uh, there you have got already merit, better than the animals, but you have to utilize it for uh, proper service. Uh, That is called Krishna consciousness. Consciousness we have got, merit we have got. Simply we have to utilize. Now here Krishna says that bohirantasya bhūtāna. You have to undergo austerities to see Krishna both outside and inside. If you understand this philosophy, then your life is successful. Antarvahi, antarvahi, ārādhita jadi hari stamusātata kim. Narādhita jadi hari stamusātata kim. Antar bahi jadi hari stamusātata kim. Nantar bahi jadi hari stamusātata kim. If you can see Krishna uh, antar within and bohi outside, then you are all tapasya finished. You are perfect now. Tapasya tatakki, no more tapasya. Uh, and if you cannot see uh, the Supreme Lord inside and outside, then you may undergo various types of tapasya and education. It is all useless. Useless waste of time. Dharma sāna sthita pumsā viśyakṣe na kathāsuja nūtpāda edura tiṅgi jadi sramaye vai kīvala. If you cannot understand uh, uh, the viśyakṣe na, viśyakṣe is another name of Krishna or God, viśyakṣe na kathāsuja dharma sāna sthita pumsā. Uh, I am a learned Brahmin, I am learned, I am very expert Kshatriya, or I am expert Vaishya. This is called dharma, varnāsam dharma. Even if you execute your varnāsam dharma, nobody is executing nowadays. Everyone is sudra, kalo sudra sambhava. But even if you execute your dharma, brahman dharma, kshatriya dharma, vaśya dharma, but even after doing so very perfectly, very orderly, if you do not develop your Krishna consciousness, viśyakṣena kathāsu, no, Routing. If you do not feel attraction, just like here, Vishakshina Katha, Krishna Katha is going on, but nobody is interested. Uh, nobody is interested. Vishakshina Katha Su, Routing, no Utpada. There are so many educated persons, but they are not interested. Uh, they will be interested to go to cinema, to the drinking house, to the meat eating hotel, 
They are interested. This is the position of Kali. Manda, Samanda, Matayu, Manda, Bhagya, Ajubadhita. Therefore, they are so unfortunate. Always disturbed. Always disturbed. Manda, Samanda, Matayu. Prayana, Alpaya, Ayusa. Kalovas means Yogi Jana. First qualification is they do not live long. A very short period of life. And it's still Manda, very bad. Manda Matayo, and they have got their philosophy, something lost Kalda. Manda Matam, Manda Matayo, Sumanda Matayo, Manda Bhagya, and all unfortunate. They cannot eat even properly. There is no milk, there is no ghee, there is no rice. This is the position of Kali Yuga. So, therefore, in this age, they, if, we, if we want to save ourselves from this onslaught of this age, uh, the proposition is Kalau dosa nidhe rajan asti ji ko mahan Parikhid Maharaj was informed by Sukhdev Goswami, my dear king. I have described about the faulty nature of this age. Kalau dosa nidhi, dosa nidhi, when it is ocean of faults, but there is one. Good opportunity. Kalau dosu nidhi raja. Asti ji ko mahan guna. There is one good quality. What is that? Kitana deva krishna sa mukta sanga parampari. Simply by chanting Hare Krishna mantra, one can become free from all this contamination and he can go back to home, back to home. This is another advantage of Kali Yuga. In other jo, one has to undergo so much severe austerity, penances, then one can realize. But in this age, the things have been made easy. That is also mercy of Krishna, because these people are so much disturbed and fallen, downtrodden. They cannot undergo very severe austerity. Simply chant. Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Iva Kevalam, Kalo Nasti, Iva Nasti, Iva Nasti, Iva Gatiranatha. These are the Shastri injunctions. And actually it is uh, happening uh, in Europe and America, they are simply chanting this Hare Krishna mantra. They are advancing very quickly uh, to understand uh, this Bhagavad Gita. They are now reading as it is. The latest report is in London, we are selling 15,000 copies per month. Uh, so they are taking interest. Uh, because it is presented as it is, Bhagavad Gita as it is, no interest. Rascal interpretation. This meaning is this, this meaning that. What authority have got to make like that? Uh, try to understand Bhagavad Gita as it is. And then you will be benefited. Uh, so one has to understand the Supreme Absolute Truth both outside and inside. Antar Bhutana Charam Acharam Eva. There are two things. Uh, some of them are moving or with life, uh, and some of them are not moving. Even living beings, here it is called Bhutana. Bhutana means living entities. Uh, so there are some living entities which are moving, just like we, uh, cats, dogs, human beings, and flies, and so many living beings, they are moving. And other living beings, just like Trees, plants, they are standing one place. Savar Janga. Uh, Savar means one place. Chara Achara. Uh, Sukhotva. In every living being, there is the Supreme Law. Uh, Supreme Law. Or Andantarastanga Paramanu Chayantarastanga. Even within the atom. Sukhotva Abhigyam. Because it is so small, minute. Uh, that minute means that Krishna is part and parcel. Uh, Krishna is the gigantic, Virat or Bibhu. And we living entities, we are Onu. Uh, the Sukha Tva. Hey, Chup. Hey, Danta. Sukhatvat tad avigyam. Because we have got, we have already explained this. That our eyes, they cannot see the subtle things, minute things. We require some instrument. 
That's like microscope. But even with microscope, you, our my, so-called microscope cannot see what is that soul. It is very, very minute, ten thousand part of the upper portion of the ear. Uh, Jīva-bhāga-sabhīgyāṁ. <coughs> the tip of the hair, you, satovhāgasa, you divide into hundred, and then take one part, again divide into hundred. Kesāgra-satovhāgasa satodhākalpitasa cha. The ten, one ten thousand part of the tip of this, it is so minute, but there is the thing, very minute. Just like a small grain of a poison, venomous poison, if it is injected in your body, you will die immediately. It has got so power. Similarly, the uh, minute spirit soul is so minute, one ten thousand part. It's still, because that minute spirit soul is there, you are moving, you are acting, you are, your brain is working, you are denying the existence of God. Uh, you are doing all this. Uh, Sukhatta tad avigyam durastham durastham chantike chatat durastham. Now you cannot calculate uh, where this abode of God is there. Durastham. Panthas kuti satavasa. If you go uh, with your plane, with the speed of mind, panthas uh, kuti satavasa sampragamma bayuratapi. By aeroplane, by Europe. This by aeroplane is mentioned, the Brahma Sangha. By Urathapi, Manasu. And uh, with the speed of mind, uh, Munipungamana, discovered by great scientists, uh, is still Avichintatati. It is so far away. Uh, Avichintatati. Therefore, it is called Durastam. At the same time, Antike, very near. Very near, just like Krishna is standing here. One has to understand. Uh, very near. He has kindly come to you, near, so near that you can touch his lotus feet, you can offer him some food stuff, you can decorate. He's agreeing, yes, I will accept your uh, patram puspam phalam toyam jumi bhakta prajachati. Uh, uh, and the, before this, Krishna has said, sarvato pāni pādasta. He has got hands and legs everywhere. Uh, in the Vedas also it is confirmed. Apani Pada, Javanat Grahita. Apani Pada. He has no hands and legs, but whatever you offer uh, in sacrifice, he immediately accepts. How he accepts? Uh, how he accepts? That is called uh, Durastham. Very, very far away at the same time, Antike, immediately. Provided you know the means, uh, if you know, then you can see prema anyana charita bhakti vilo chanena santa sadaiva ridayesu vilo kanti. That is God's power. He can remain far, far away, uh, but He can immediately be approachable by the devotees. Uh, 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 <coughs> there is another verse. Addaita achyuta yanadi ananta rupam adyanga purana purusanga nabhajavvane vedesu durlava. If you want to understand the absolute truth by simply studying the Vedas, although the Vedas means Veda is to serve by Yahamiva Veda. Krishna is to be understood. That is the Vedic object. But if you have no devotional feeling, then even if you go on reading Vedic literature, for many millions of years, he will not understand what is this. Vedas uh, Tisar, although it is, he is uh, the objective of Vedic study is to understand Krishna. So, Vedas is durlava, adurlava atma bhakta. But if you go, if you go through the mercy of a devotee, atma bhakta, uh, uh, or he is very easily available to the devotees. Bhaktāmāma-vijānāti, chāvāṅjas-cāmi tattat. If you simply speculate, he will remain dure, durastham, antikecha. But if you surrender, as Krishna says, sarva-dharmāna-palitajya, māvīkaṅga-saranaṅbhāma, 
manmana bhava mad bhakta mad jaji maang namaskuru simply by this process uh, he confirms it then anyone who has taken this process janma karma me dibbam jo janati tatva ta he simply by this process takta dehang punar janma naiti maameti ko these are things in the bhagavad gita plainly said unfortunately we do not read it or even if we read it we misinterpret it or somebody mislead me so called uh, scholars and so called rascals mislead us and we remain in the darkness so try to understand bhagavad gita as it is and your life will be successful thank you very much